In the waiting room, seven-year-old Sophie has come in with mum and dad and a cut hand. Who's that, Chris? That's Tab. Oh, hi, Tab. So, how did Sophie hurt her hand? With a sharp knife. A sharp knife? Ouch! Sophie was in her bedroom doing some arts and crafts. Cool! Was she making paper aeroplanes? I don't know, Zan. Well, was she making a selfie portrait then? It doesn't matter what she was making, Zan. The point is, she decided she needed something sharp. Sharp? Sounds dangerous. So, off she went to fetch a knife without asking Mum or Dad. Oh, no! And as she was using it, the knife slipped and cut her thumb. Ouch! Was Tab there? She was downstairs. So Tab couldn't help, but consultant Matt Rotherham can. And he's going to take a closer look. Ooh, that looks like a deep cut. First, the doc checks the movement and sensation in Sophie's hand. Can you wiggle your thumb? <laughs> Very good. Can you feel me touching your thumb on that side? Looking for damage to the veins and the nerves and the tendons that control movement. Your hand contains nerves that give you feeling and tendons which allow it to move. Some tendons and nerves are very close to the surface of your skin and a deep cut like Sophie's can easily damage them. It could mean you lose feeling or you're unable to move your hand properly, which is why a bad cut often needs surgery to fix it. Can you bend your thumb at the end like that? The doc's checking that Sophie can move her thumb properly. You're not bending her thumb, are you? She could straighten her thumb, but she didn't seem to be able to bend it. We have to take that seriously and assume that it could be due to the injury, so I'm going to get the plastics team to... Okay. 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 I've had to refer her to a specialist. They can decide whether they need to have a look at that wound under an anaesthetic. In the meantime, Sophie's cut is cleaned and patched up with butterfly stitches, and we'll find out later if she needs surgery.